I just thought if we could just get maybe 100 ahead, we might be a chance, but we managed to get, I think, a bit more. Well, I think we nearly got 150 ahead or something like that, and we thought, okay, well, we're a, we're a silly chance now. What a tense day for both sides. But I wouldn't uh, mind being in the Pakistan team today. They must be feeling pretty good about themselves, but nervous as well. They're not used to winning test matches. Pakistan with everything to play for. Can they make it one all? Yeah, we were, we were dead and buried, you know, uh, and, and it was just another one of those situations where I could bat with the tail and we could try and frustrate the opposition as much as possible. I could try and farm the strike. Decide not to take the single, so Hussey will steal the strike and that's exactly what the Aussies want to do this morning. Yes, good pull shot, uh, put the pressure on the man in the deep. There's always going to be two there. Uh, good response from Mike Hussey. Yep. Shot, that'll be four. That's a price you pay when you have them spread. Goes on to 87. It's another one. Four more. Well, this will put the cat amongst the pigeons for Pakistan. They've got their heads down. Batpad's got his head down. Sip's got his hand on his hips. And it's their own fault. There it is. He'll get four. That's well played, Michael Hussey. Struck down the ground. His 11th Test 100, first against Pakistan, and a big one for Australia. You know, I had a great partnership with Peter Siddle, who showed amazing concentration and application. Siddle was so determined as well, uh, he didn't want to give anything away. Suddenly Peter Siddle's hitting cover drives. Just a little bit too straight, nicely played. He'll come back for the second. That's Peter Siddle's highest score in a test match in Australia. We had a bit of luck along the way. I think we were both dropped on a couple of occasions. Down the leg side and, well, is that a drop catch? Is that another drop catch? He's dropped Hussey three times. Dropped him on 27, 45 and 52. Oh, shot. Peter Siddle against the spin. All the way to the boundary. 100 partnership between these two. Oh, yes. oh, oh that's the Mike Hussey of old. Trademark cover drive. Eight for 366. Oh, that's out, surely. Yes, it is. Definitely. I thought there was glove there, and then shoulder. He's given him out. Yeah, huge cheer here for Peter Siddle. It's been a fantastic effort. The people in the members stand, the ladies stand, and in fact all the stands are on their feet. And, and the bowlers did a great job. In the air, gone! Yes he is! It's one for 34. Edge and taken this time, it carries. And the finger goes up. Oh, well taken, Haddon, and there's been a... Oh, there's another one gone! There he goes. Got him! What a catch! That could win the match for Australia. Nathan Horace has taken a ripper. He went for the captain. He hit it as hard as a rocket. No, I think he's hurt. I think he's injured, but he's held on. What a catch. Got! Go! Oh, got him this time, has he? Yes, he has! Yeah! Oh, it was an outside edge. Haddon thinks he's got him. Mohamed Sunny is out now. And he's gone in the air, he's got a charge. Mitchell Johnson settles under it and takes a beauty! It's gone, that's a big one. There's a man out there, it's Watson. He's got good hands. Yes, he has. This is the last ball, the over. He goes yeah. again, down the ground, could be out, he should be out. He is out. What a victory for Australia. That's one of the all-time great victories. Yeah, we actually sung the song where Peter Siddle took the very last catch um, to win us that game. Um, it was at mid-off, just a little bit deeper. So yeah, um, later on that night, we all circled around that spot and, uh, and Siddle <laughs> replayed the catch for us and it was, uh, it was a great win.